Hello YouTube, I'm Tom Moss, this is my dad Glyn and we represent Life's Changing Journey and this video is about can you lose belly fat alone? Hello there YouTube uh, yeah, so yeah, as Thomas said, I'm his father, Glenn, and um, yes, the question is, can you lose belly fat alone? Well, uh, let's break this down a little bit, bear with me, um, because if you're, um, if you're on a weight loss journey like us, and um, you're trying to lose weight, and you've gone on the internet, and you're looking for how to lose weight, you're looking for, you know, certain foods, what's best way, and everything else, I'm sure that you've been bombarded with different things like drink this potion and you will lose belly fat overnight, take these tablets one, three times a day and you will lose belly fat, um, don't eat this because if you do you won't lose belly fat, and, you know all things like that um, and it really does rouse me because um, if you understand the science behind fat loss you'll f quickly understand. Um, where I'm going on this. So we'll, we'll start off um, how fat actually fat loss actually occurs. It's uh, right. So what you need to do is eat in a deficit st to start with. So you've got your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate. Now let's make it easy and say your basal metabolic rate is 2,000. Now you must eat less calories than that. So let's say for easy talk you're eating 1500 calories a day that's 500 calories in a deficit. So because you're in a deficit what will happen is at some stage your body will go looking for energy um, and when you're in a deficit the only energy left in your body is, is your stored fat. So your body will go into your fat cells, oxidate your fat and use it in your bloodstream as energy. And then you'll lose that through either your kidneys in your pee, um, or you'll, you'll lose it in your breath, in, you know, through your lungs, through breathing out uh, as well, like through the, uh, and through the pores of your skin, through, through sweat. Um, that's how fat oxidation and using fat for energy, and that's how we lose fat. So, first and foremost, you need to be eating in a deficit. Now, your body does not turn around and say, right, we're gonna take fat from the belly. That doesn't work like that. What actually happens is, your body will use all of the fat throughout the whole of your body, and it will oxidate all of your fat cells from the absolute whole of your body. It will not pinpoint your bum, it will not pinpoint your belly, or under your arms, you, you know, or on your shoulders, around your, around your chest and or your breasts or whatever, you know, it will take from the whole of your body. That is how it works. So when people say that this pill will take belly fat away and they try and sell you this, it's all a load of cod swallop. Um, now, if you want to go out and buy these pills because it makes you feel that you can lose fat by that, then you know, I'm sorry, but you're wasting your money. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you eat in a deficit, you lose weight. If you eat in a surplus, you gain weight. What will happen is if you eat in a surplus, your body will then store as energy for a rainy day. This is how our bodies work. And it will not just store in one place. Now, some people have got bigger bellies, some people have got bigger bums. We store fat in different areas. We all are very unique in that way. Um, but that is down to our genetics. It's nothing to do with the way fat is stored or the way fat is released. It is our genetics of where we store fat more in more areas than others. That's, we can't do nothing about that. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the way we are built. But when it comes to fat loss, fat oxidation, and using fat as fuel, we use it from our whole body. So if you're on a fat loss journey, you will not lose fat from the belly alone. And if, you, and if you've got a lot of belly around your fat, and you're, you're trying to lose weight, sometimes you'll go pretty skinny in certain areas before you actually tap in and get rid of all of that 
uh, belly fat. And some people get a bit alarmed and go, oh no, I look like a skeleton in the face and whatever, um, you, you know, and they've still got a bit of a belly on them, you know, but unfortunately that's the way it works. You know, you do lose fat from everywhere, you know. So, uh, yes, there is no magic pill. There is no magic potion. You cannot drink this, you cannot take that, and it will not lose belly fat alone. You know, I, I, unfortunately, um, I'm sorry for you guys that think that you can do that. I'm sorry, but unfortunately, you have to do it the hard way. You have to go out and you have to eat properly in a deficit. Well, let's say you eat properly, you can eat Mars bars. You know, you can eat, or, or any chocolate bars, you can eat chocolate cake, you can eat McDonald's, you can eat KFC, you can eat, or anything, you can eat any, any kind of food. As long as you're eating in a deficit, you will lose weight. Unfortunately, if you do eat chocolate and cakes and takeaways and everything like that, you won't get much of it to eat in a deficit because all this processed food nowadays is absolutely loaded with calories. Um, so unfortunately, you might probably get one small meal um, for the whole day. Um, but if you're clever and you want to eat plenty of food, you eat good nutrient dense foods, you know, very high in nutrients, very high in, um, uh, very low in calories, and then um, you'll get a good plateful or a good two, three, four platefuls to eat a day um, and you'll feel satiated. Um, so that is the best way forward. There's no, there's no magic pill, there's no magic potion, you know. Um, and to be honest with you, you know, if you're not into the science behind it and you just want to lose weight, I mean, I don't know, mm. you know. Uh, if, you, if you're like me and you don't really understand the science behind fat loss, just eat less, less calories than your BMR and you will lose the fat. Yeah, exactly, Thomas. That's yeah. exactly it. You know, it's as simple as that. There's no, like I say, there's no magic. There's no, you know, there's there's that certainly no easy way of doing it. And it's not a fast. You know, it's not something you're going to go to bed at night and wake up the next morning thin as a part. You know, you're not going to lose weight overnight. The losing weight occurs over a period of weeks, months, and possibly years, depending on the weight, how much weight you're carrying. You know, um, you will not go to bed and wake up the next day with five pounds of fat lost. It does not happen like that. You know, it does take, for, I think 3,500 calories equals one pound of fat loss. Now, if you're in a 500 pound a day, uh, 500 calorie a day, um, deficit that equals 3,500 over a course of seven days which of course is a week so that means you're losing one pound of body fat per week and that one pound of body fat that you'll lose in that week will be a pound from the whole body not just the belly so unfortunately there is no magic pill to lose that belly fat so there we go guys there was our Wednesday video, so thank you very much for joining us again. And the next video we do for you guys will be Sunday, which will be weighing again. I'm really looking forward to this. I've set my target for 2.5 pounds, so I can then turn around and say, I've lost six stones so far in our journey. So I'm really, fingers crossed, I'm really, really, really looking forward to this. I'm so, so, so buzzing on it. Um, so yeah. So please, if you could like, subscribe and share and press that notification bell and then you'll be notified for any more of our videos that are coming and we'll see you again on Sunday. Thank you very much. Thank you.